Hey YouTube, it's Asset Builder once again. Uh, another video just uh, outlining an article that I'm looking at from our friends at uh, CNBC Online. Um, basically indicating that uh, gold was steady today, but is predicted to be firmer on physical demand. So it sounds to me like they're indicating that uh, physical demand is uh, predicted to go higher. Now, there's a nice picture of some nice gold coins and Credit Suisse uh, 100 gram gold bar. So it looks like there's some Krugerrands there and um, an American silver, uh, sorry, an American gold coin and a Mexican gold Libertad. So some beautiful coins. Uh, gold is a beautiful metal. So, so why are they predicting that uh, physical demand is going to go up? So. You know, basically indicating that there's healthy physical demand out there. Just scrolling through the article here, gold has the potential to claw higher in the short term after the dollar pulled back from near nine-month highs due to the increasing appetite from speculators, one analyst said. So that's very interesting, that speculators are getting back into the market. So this, uh, to me, is uh, quite fascinating because this is going to really drive the price of gold higher. Um, now, once the speculators get in, you know how they are. They're pretty uh, greedy uh, individuals. So speculators are the type of people that uh, really uh, are one of the, it's the group that really drives the market at the end, right? They're the ones who are going to make the metal spike higher. Um, so with gold spiking higher and physical demand rising for gold, then silver will uh, follow suit. You know, they, they typically go in uh, tandem, in parallel, although, however, uh, silver does spike faster to the upside, as well as it spikes down faster to the downside. So, um, article continues to say, we've seen the dollar rally halted, and that may give gold some additional room to maneuver to the upside. So I'm quietly constructive for gold, said Ole Hansen, head of commodity strategy at Sasko Bank in Copenhagen. So one of the largest, if not the largest, Danish um, bank. And uh, Denmark is one of those safe haven uh, banking um, jurisdictions in the world. Uh, it's really been left untouched, unlike the Swiss banking system. So... We continue to read, uh, outside markets are supportive. We were seeing weakness in the stock markets. Oil is trading lower and the dollar is a tad weaker. However, spot price for gold um, it seems to be stabilizing and, in fact, going up after the uh, recent uh, correction. So, folks, uh, you know, this is a very encouraging article to me. Uh, I think that, uh, yeah, let's bring that picture back. Uh, beautiful coins there and beautiful bar. Uh, gold is uh, definitely a, a, a commodity that's going to be going higher. I do predict, uh, as you've been seeing in some of my videos, that um, um, the European financial system, banking system, is ready to collapse. But Deutsche Bank is probably going to be the trigger there, if Deutsche Bank goes down, the European banking system goes down, Europe goes down, and it will take the U.S. and Japan down with it. So uh, grab some gold, grab some silver. Uh, that's my advice, uh, and do it uh, as quickly as you can. Uh, I think 2017 could be the year for some of this uh, uh, financial crisis to really kick into high gear. Um, so more to come, obviously. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, so hopefully you liked the video, so please press that button, that like button. Uh, share this video if you thought it was worthwhile. Uh, make some comments. You know, Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. would love to hear from you. I will respond. And definitely subscribe to my channel. I think that there's been some interesting, uh, useful content uploaded and much, much more to come. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day.